Hello, my name is Ardi and let's solve problem 3.54 from Sadiku book. So the question is, find the mass currents I1, I2, and I3 in the circuit in figure 3.99. So this is the figure and we are already given the mass currents I1, I2, and I3. So what we need to do is just to do KVL at I1, I2, and I3. And we will get three equations with three variables which we can solve. Okay, probably let's start from the loop I1 here. So let's do KVL at loop I1. KVL says that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, now let's start from this 12 volt voltage source. The current flowing is I1 and it's flowing from the negative side to positive side. So we will have negative sign, so minus, and the magnitude is 12, so I will have minus 12. And then I will have 1 kilo ohm multiplied by the only current that pass through it, which is I1. 1 multiplied by I1 is just I1. And then what else? I have another one here, and we multiply it by I1 also. But here... We have another current that pass through I 1 kilo ohm resistor, which is I2. So I2 is flowing to the opposite direction of, of I1. So I will subtract it. So I will have minus I2. Now that is good. And this next component is this 10 volt voltage source. And the current is flowing from this side to this side. So we will have plus 10. All of that will equal to 0. Minus 12 plus 10 is minus 2. And then plus, let's distribute this. So we open up the bracket. So I will have I1 minus I2. All of that will equal to 0. I1 plus I1. So I will have 2I1. And then minus I2. And that will equal to 2. Okay, I think this will be our first equation okay we need two more equation because we have three currents right so let's do another kvl but this time at loop i2 let's do exactly that kvl at loop i2 kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero Okay, now let's start from this 10 volt voltage source. The current is flowing from the negative side to the positive side. So we will have negative sign minus 10 and then plus. Now we are going in loop I2. So I will write I2 first. But here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I1. Okay, and then the next one is this one, 1 kilo ohm multiplied by I2 because that is the only current that pass through it. So we will have I2 here and then plus this one. So again, I will write I2 first, but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we will have minus I3. All of that will equal to zero. And now let's open up the brackets. I think because that is multiplied by one, I don't think we need to worry about. So we will have minus I1. And then I have 3I2, right? One, two, three. So I will have 3I2. And then I only have minus 1I3. And let's move this minus 10 to the right hand side. So we will have 10 here. And I think that is the second equation here. So we'll have this second equation. Let's do the last one, which is KVL at loop I3. <coughs> so we'll have KVL at loop I3. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, now let's start from this part here. So I will have I3 came first. But then I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I2. And then plus the only current that pass through this 1 kilo ohm resistor is I3. So 1 multiplied by I3 is just 
I3. And then the current is flowing from this negative side of the voltage source into the positive side. So the sign will be negative. And so I will have 12 here. All of that will equal to zero. Okay. And now I think I will have minus I2. And then plus I3 plus I3 is 2I3. Let's move that minus 12 to the right hand side. I will have 12 there. Okay, let's save that as equation number 3. Okay, now we have three equations with three variables. So we need to solve it for, for 1, 2, and 3. So we can get I1, I2, and I3. But first, I think I need to write it into the matrix form so that I don't make any mistakes here. I have 2 minus 1. So I have 2 minus 1, but we don't have I3, so I will have 0 here. And then for this one, I will have minus 1, and then 3, and then minus 1. And then I will have 0, minus 1 and then 2 there and this will be multiplied by i1 i2 and i3 and so on the right hand side i will have 2 10 and 12. okay that's good this is our matrix form and i think we can just use calculator to solve it Let's set up our equation as equation solver. So number 5 and 3 variables is number 2. And now we can just plug each row here. So I will have 2 minus 1 and then 0. And that will equal to 2. So I have 2. And then I will have minus 1, 3 and then minus 1. And then I will have 10 there. And I will have 10, 0, 10, minus 1, and then 2, and finally I will have 12 here. Okay, so I think I will have this one here. So this is I1, which is 5.25. So we have I1 is equal to 5.25. The unit here is ampere, right? So... This is I1 and then I2. I2 is the Y value, which is 8.5 ampere. And then what is I3? I3 is the Z value, which is 10.25. 10.25 and I think that is the final answer for this problem. This is I1, I2, and I3. Okay, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.